Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. And what is this? Well, this is a game that showed up in my. Um, oh, it's in Steam. It's that list that you can browse through. It gives you some new titles. Uh, anyways, this showed up in that list, the discovery list or whatever you want to call it in Steam. I don't know what the technical term is. Who gives a crap? So what's this video going to be all about? Well, it's going to be my 100 subscriber special. So yeah, stick around, hang in there, and you'll see what this is all about. So I'll get right to the point. I have some stuff written down here just for this episode. Kind of thought it out a bit for all of you, and just to give you an idea of kind of what's happening in my mind and about the channel and all that stuff. So basically, what is this channel this channel is basically you me recording the games that I play and then uploading it to YouTube uh, basically that's my enjoyment it's not the enjoyment of actually playing the game but it's playing the game while it's being recorded while I blab to myself to my monitor here with the craziness that happens outside of my door that's why I do this because <laughs> it's fun so yeah um, some people do it because they want to become popular, some people do it for money, blah blah blah. Well, as much as we all know in this world, money would be nice, right? So anyways, I'm going to actually hop into the game here directly and let's just generate a new world and then I'll continue talking about the subscriber special here. Uh, let's see here, let's just keep the default settings here. I really wish we could kind of change the volume. Uh, maybe in the game we can change it. We'll go next. So you can create a character within this game. I'm just going to go like this. I'm not going to keep this world anyways. It's just more for show. So I don't even know what head to pick. How about we turn the hair on? Off. There's not really different kind of hairs, hey? Beard. Let's turn the mustache. Yeah, let's change our colors. Hey, let's, let's be white old man. Woo! Can we turn this? No, I can't click or, or drag. Now there's these experience points and there's these perks and they all cost you know different amounts. And you need to order or purchase certain ones. Um, I think we need worker, scholar, chopper, or taskmaster. Maybe we need scholar, we need a worker and I think a taskmaster yeah so this will allow us to build towns and everything it's kind of like the main thing the only problem is we need this skill to chop trees down so somehow we have to level up to get this skill maybe I should have picked this skill first oh well so I'm going to generate the world and so here you see the world's being generated and while that's happening uh let's talk um so 100 subscribers hey yeah, i've been waiting waiting i've been watching the subscriber count and as of this video i have 108 subscribers but i was kind of waiting until to make sure that it didn't dip below the 100 because sometimes what happens is kind of funny is people oh look at the flowers Sometimes people, it's kind of okay, WASD controls, mouse controls. Oh, hello, bear. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. You know, of course, graphics are minimalistic at the moment, and as anything, you know, this is a game in alpha or early access. I don't like calling games alpha, I like calling them early access. Look at all these deer, man. Holy crap, they're all the same, but it's a good start. What's that thing from walking up there? Huh, okay, if we go, this is pretty cool. So let's continue talking here. Let's go hit escape. Um, so I apologize about the music. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'll try and talk over it. And <laughs> oh, what else is new? What else is new in the professionalism that's, that, that this all is? Um, so yeah, so I was talking about the channel, about how I enjoy playing these games. And then you know, 100 subscribers, man. It's crazy hey I made it you know it took me a while you know really I didn't see growth until basically this last year when I really kind of started to pump out 
a video a day and for some reason somehow I've gotten over 100 subscribers so if you're one of those viewers that actually watch my stuff I appreciate oh that's a fox that's cool huh I appreciate the stuff that you do I appreciate the fact that you take your time out of your busy schedule to to watch my stuff and to maybe at least comment you know even if you don't it's no big deal I appreciate the fact that some human eyeballs are watching this and it's just crazy to me that that actually happens but hey YouTube right so yeah so I, I appreciate the fact that you watched you know without you guys this would not be possible probably would lose interest you know, probably not I know there's been in the you know, in videos in the past I kind of said that oh yeah well it didn't matter you know one could watch me and I'll still make these videos right well the truth of the matter is, is is it's nice to know that some people actually watch your stuff right even though if it's only a few minutes at the beginning and so that's why I need to get this out in the beginning right so it doesn't drag on and so you're you're interested in this and, holy crap bear <laughs> and yeah this is pretty cool I, I like this system looks like those are some ruins let's head over that way while I talk um, and yeah so so without you guys without your support of hitting that subscribe button this just wouldn't be possible at the moment right so yeah so I appreciate that fact um, I don't know if there's swimming in the game here uh, I don't know if there's anything hostile. Is he gonna kill me? No, okay. There's a bear there. Is there swimming in the game? Oh, there's water walking. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! <laughs> water walking. Oh, that's funny. That's so funny. Uh, so, yeah, so basically, the focus of the channel is. To continue doing what I'm doing, to kind of chronicle my gaming life, you know, in YouTube. This is a pretty neat ruins. I wonder if we'll be able to tear this stuff down one day. You know, like use like a pickaxe and kind of knock it down and collect the materials and process them into actual materials. Let's hit M here for map. Here we go. That's their map. This is kind of like show us. So it looks like there's a settlement straight this way. So maybe we'll head that way. We'll kind of head this way towards the settlement. Those are probably just the leaves. Okay, yeah, some ambient noises. And so yeah, so just basically that's what's going to happen. So my upcoming focus for the channel is basically to have... A, uh, well, basically to have it's basically to kind of continue doing what I'm doing to create the content on a daily basis um, I know I have a ton of footage that I've got stored up for editing I just haven't had the time like with the little one that we have our little you know, 20 month old as of this video uh, yeah just amazing you know so you know, I've been kind of busy with that and unfortunately, as always, is real life, right? I gotta pay bills, gotta work. How do you pay bills? Well, by going to work. And unfortunately, eight hours a day is spent, um, is spent you're working. And then when I come home, you know, you wanna relax, you wanna do nothing. Like, you know, that's kinda where you know, I'm coming from, right? But for Alpha State, this game is pretty cool, actually. I'm quite surprised at it. I'm sure it's more of a tech demo, I think, but I think it does the trick. You know, this game has, has so much potential. Um, there's a bear, let's let the bear walk. But yeah, but yeah. So basically, upcoming footage, uh, your focus is, I got a ton of footage, and I know I'm, I'm repeating that. So I need to edit, I need to kind of try and you get unbusy and you focus on trying to push out some of that content out because that's uh, that's content I would have done with Lushable Echo and so you definitely I'd like you to check him out if you can you know I'm gonna put up a link I think for him uh, he's my brother and he's kind of like the guy that got me interested in kind of editing for YouTube now I'm okay I remember setting the days to half an hour so either it's 15 minute days and 15 minute nights 
which is going to suck. So we're going to enjoy this wonderful sunset here, right? And yeah, continue on with the talking. Uh, so basically, yeah, so basically I'd done a bunch of footage with my brother and I just need to upload that. I need to edit that and upload. As far as the current series that I'm working on, we're going to continue with Dead Frontier. We're going to continue with the shopkeep. We're going to continue with the factorial. Um, basically, those are the main games I'm playing at the moment, and so we'll we'll carry on with that. Uh, the next milestone I think will be 250 subscribers. So that will be an amazing feat trying to get to that. You know, if any of you want to help, hey, let some friends know. Bring them over to the channel. I only want people that are willing to watch the content. Maybe somewhat in the beginning. I don't know, but I don't know. I feel that my content's good to watch, right? Like I watch it. I watch my old content every once in a while just to see where, where I've gone to where, well, to where I've come from, to where I am today. Kind of like the progression, if any progression at all. I don't know. Maybe just more comfortable at talking to my computer, right here to this this sun, this digital sun, and this crazy you know procedurally generated world um yeah so it's, so it's just pretty neat and yeah again just a huge thanks to all of you and to all of you you continue to you watch and to support the channel even if you don't watch me if hey if you don't watch my whole videos if none of you really actually get to hear this part eh, it doesn't matter i thank you thank you for all of your time all your wasted time on watching my videos <laughs> you know and yeah it's pretty freaking dark here isn't it can I do torch let's go tab let's see what we can do here um, kingdoms blah 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 da, 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 da. yeah okay how about controls one is torch okay ah uh, there we go it's at least a torch okay I'm okay with the torch. <laughs> yeah. So, so basically, you thank you for everything. Um, now let's kind of go into the game. Yeah, I I wrote all this stuff down because how else am I going to be able to talk about it? My memory is, is terrible. And uh, let's take a look at our map here. We're we're heading in the right direction. It's gonna keep going. Okay. So, why did I get this game? Well, for one, it was on sale, so when a game goes under 10 bucks, it's kind of hard to not pick up. Because <laughs> what's 10 bucks? Oh, this looks like a cliff here. Shit. Um, looks like 10 bucks. Well, yeah, yeah, 10 bucks and under is my my range, right? Because you know what I believe is in the old early access model, the Minecraft model. Oh, that scared me. The Minecraft model, basically. Minecraft model is oh look at that there's a fire and you'll hear dogs in the background as always because that's the way the house is and I apologize for that but yeah that's why having more subscribers maybe one day will allow me to create more money and maybe that money can be used towards potentially getting a larger house uh, potentially getting a room dedicated to recording uh, that deer scared the crap out of me. Um, yeah, all of that stuff. So in this game, there's NPCs that run around and do stuff. And that's kind of the main focus of the game. That's kind of what sold me on the whole concept of the game. Uh, there's a job board, there's a well. So basically all civilizations or cities start with a well and usually a job board or whatever task board is placed up and I think this is an NPC right here we typically can talk to these guys um, yeah see if we click on it I think we can talk to them and what these guys will do is they will build in this area here see look at that right over here they're already starting to build this is pretty neat actually uh, what's this that they're building oh yeah see this is his house Huh, <laughs> that's funny. So he's starting to build this civilization here. And so this is what I mean. Like this game has so much potential and if they if the developers they follow through at creating this game 
and creating it to work, you know, as what we expect, where we can build you know, these kingdoms and then go to war with each other and, and dominate or whatever, you know, do whatever you want in this world and build it up. And ah, uh, NPCs, man, it's just like Imperial Galactic Survival, right? I want NPCs in there that are going to behave like these guys and space engineers and everything. To me, the NPCs is is priority, right? That's so important. Um, yeah, you know, and so so here in Kingdoms we have a procedural a medieval RPG. You know, it's completely open world. You know, as I mentioned, the main feature is the AI system. So as a player, I can interact with anything and you know, be a part of the world or not. Um, its main features is the dynamic world. So this aspect of the NPCs going and doing, doing their thing. Uh, where did he go? Hopefully he's off chopping a tree or whatever. I don't know where they do. If we stood here, we could probably find them and watch them, follow them. They probably actually do behave. I know we do need to eat and everything. They added that. Uh, there's a living AI, which means the AI... Oh, look, look, look. That is totally what is going on. That guy just chopped a tree down. I think. Is this the Erebor guy? Is that another NPC or a deer in the distance? Ah, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, look at that. Look. Look at that. He's carrying. Oh no, this is a different guy, Benny Gear. But he's carrying a big log on his back. That's amazing, folks. Look at that. And, uh. Yeah. Now the game has freedom. As you can tell, let's go into our inventory here. Let's look into our player. So we got sword and we got even steel axe for chopping trees, right? Huh. So let's try chopping a tree, see what happens. Uh, let's go over here. I don't think we'll be able to chop the tree because we don't have a, the skill. But let's... Okay, that's my foot. I thought it was me. Okay, let's try. Oh, it's the trees. The trees scare me. Oh, that guy's chopping a tree. Let's see what happens. Ah! Oh, look, it's still kind of increasing, but not as fast. So maybe with the chopper skill, let's see if we actually are able to chop this tree down before we run out of the stamina. So I'm just pressing the mouse button and just hitting. I pressed 2 to equip the sword or the axe and now I'm just kind of hoping that the blue circle fills in before... Yeah, let's see here. Let's see, will it actually fall down? Oh, look at that. One wood added. That's cool. Look at that. Now can we die with this? Ah, I won't try. Look at that. Huh, can we still hit this tree? Or is it now just... Or is it now just graphical? Huh. Maybe it's just graphical. Maybe it'll disappear on its own. Maybe we can harvest that with the chopper ability. Uh, if we go tab, what's our experience? See, these will go down, which is kind of sucks. Okay, we got wood. Huh. There's a building system. Uh, M. Map. Oh, look at that. What, what someone's building a windmill? Is that what this is over here? Is that why that guy's walking way down over here? Let's go check that out. Oh, look at it. there's another guy here. So this guy is... Wow, Arnufel. Arnufelor. Arnufelor. <laughs> uh, what's this now? Do I have to actually talk to them? Ah, cool, I can actually help them. I wonder if that, you know, increases anything or if they recognize that fact or... This is so cool, this game. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see what happens. Yo! 
Welcome, Traveler. What can I do for you? Can you tell me anything interesting? Of course. What exactly do you need? Uh, of course, why not? My name is, is Bettinger. What can you do the best? Digger. Oh, it just shows you there. Oh, that's weird. Character traits. Conquer. See, that's interesting, hey? Colonia. That's probably what this place is. That's cool. Back to dialogue. Ah, see, we need experience points. You're strong. Ah, okay, okay. Back to dialogue. Okay, what's this? Tell me what you're doing now. How many jobs right now? Can you teach me something? This is where you need experience. I don't know how to get experience. Uh, why put, accept your village around? Uh, caves, ruins. Okay, that's fine. Can you tell me about it? You're in Colonia. There are one settlers here. Do you need more specific information? Can you tell me about the settlers? Tell me about your leader. Leader is Betty Greer. Isn't that you? <laughs> the village with a coke cloak okay now how do we get out of this ah you right click okay okay that's we can do that so where's the guy with the cloak this would be so much easier in the day <laughs> oh man I thought that was bedding rear let's go back let's go see if this is the guy we can run we can hold shift to run hey Freddy Gurr, you are the leader. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's check. Let's check this out again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why are you? Why are you telling me? Ah, uh, man, you're a funny guy. Okay. Well, we talked to him. Now let's continue. I don't know. Interesting. So yeah, so there you go, folks. So this is kind of a little preview to this game that we're going to be playing. I'm not sure what kind of a series we're going to do. Maybe it'll be a series of kind of going through this and watching it you grow and develop. Maybe I'll just save this world. I'll save it where I am and we'll see what we can do, how we can interact with these NPCs. Maybe try and get some experience, try and figure that out. Maybe try and attack a creature or something. And Yeah. So thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye!